Hello and welcome to this video. Thank you for dropping by. I will show you how to time your BMW N55 motor with this high quality tool set that I have purchased from Amazon. Now there are quite a few variations of this tool on Amazon where different engines could be timed. With this particular tool you have the option for N55 as well as N52 okay that's N52 this is N55 this is the N53 and 54 and this little bar is for the camshafts uh, I'm not going to use it because my, my camshafts are in place what I'll be using is this you have everything here to make the time chain work. And so this little tool is, is for the chain tensioner, which is really needed. Uh, you cannot really do a proper job without the tensioner. You also have the flywheel locking pins which is great uh, I'm not sure so I have two in this set here uh, I'm not sure which one is exactly for N55 but the flywheel will show because they have different sizes um, and let's get this thing on the road all right the dowel on the flywheel should be pointing up to the center of the motor for the pin to go in. So let's put the pin in and we'll do the TDC. All right, we can see the pin is in. I'll verify that the pin is sticking out from, from your flywheel. That means that the motor is in TDC, top dead center. And also, you can see the dowel right there for this, uh, this, uh, uh, this hole is pointing straight up. There's a little, sort of a, um, a notch here as well. It means that the motor is a TDC. All right, few things here. Now there's a, uh, a QR code right here. Uh, on the exhaust side of the uh, of the camshaft right here same thing same exact thing you can see a barcode on the intake camshaft right here so they have to be um, pointing up in order for the TDC to work so my advice when you'll be doing finding the TDC um, don't try to force anything on your wrench at the hub here, at the bolt, because some of the valves might be in the way and you can bend them and it's not going to be pretty. So now that we verified that we have a TDC and the flywheel is locked, we'll install the timing chain tool. Let's do it. All right, so, and the very first thing we'll do is we'll, we'll install this bar here, which will actually hold the N55 adjustment. I'll get the bolts, I will uh, screw them in, and I will put these pieces on the camshafts like so, so that they don't go anywhere when these bolts will be tightened up. 
few pointers when you'll be finding your TDC. Um, um, make sure that, uh, well, tr try not to bolt this down just yet uh, before you, you find the TDC because there might be a slight miss adjustment uh, right here either on the exhaust or the intake uh, the camshaft so that the valves will be sticking out and you know you won't be able to do the TDC it's kind of still make them loose um, take uh, this part here uh, you can insert it well unbolt those two insert this part and kind of play you know with your camshaft a little bit to find the TDC because you know the TDC need to be done first uh, then followed by this so find the TDC don't try to yank it don't try to force anything and just play with these um, you know like I said insert them kind of go left and right and you know to make sure that the valves close off uh, to get the TDC okay so the tool set came with bolts which go right in there if I could only find the all right that's one I'll make them hand tight for now so these bolts use a number five allen okay Okay, now I'm gonna put four bolts on here as well. Now make sure when you're doing this, since these are really tiny bolts, you don't drop anything inside your oil pan because if you do, you know, that might create little problems for you. The top ones also use the Allen number five. So I'll go ahead and tighten this up. Um, just make them hand tight for now. Okay. All right. So this looks solid. Next step, we'll do the red bar for the bottom. Okay, so this is the N55 motor bar. And yes, they are different than the N54 motor. Uh, just want to make sure that you guys buy the right tool set for this job. Because there are some, some sellers who specify that N55 or rather N54 will fit the N55 adjustment bar. They will not. As you can see, they have a totally different. So the uh, the intake might be the same, but exhaust side is absolutely different. So make sure when you buy the tool set for this, it is specifically says N N55. Okay. So these are loose, uh, these bolts are loose. So I've tightened up the crank for the needed specs, which were 70, I believe they're 20 nanometers, which is roughly about 74 foot pound, and 270 degrees um, for this. Now that's another story, but I've done it with a big O um, snap-on breaker bar which is 37 inches and that was quite easy uh, I didn't actually expect it to be that easy I've used a special tool here also it was kind of a homemade but uh, yeah don't uh, so this is only 18 I think uh, inches which is not not good enough for for tightening up 270 degrees 
of, uh, of torque of rotation actually okay so N55 here we go so we're going to align we're going to put this little pin in there and in there and we'll put the bolts one here and one on this side okay so I'm actually going to tighten these up make sure that they don't move I just want to say this is a really really good quality aluminum bars um, bolts are okay quality but the hardware but the the bars and um, so even these bolts those allen bolts are really good quality uh, they're really tight these ones weren't really so good but these are really good uh, this whole set is just amazing I mean um, it's just I can't say enough but I'll do a review on this as well so let me uh, tighten these up and we'll go ahead and we'll do the chain the chain tensioner now a few pointers here since this is a uh, uh, they are still loose as you can see the uh, um, so these are loose uh, the chain is also loose uh, but not to worry this this will get some tension once I put the the, the chain tensioner in there uh, and this whole thing right here will be uh, We'll have some tension, uh, we'll make sure there's no movement and we'll get these bolts and then we'll tighten these bolts to 20 nanometers and 180 degrees rotation for the torque to yield. Okay, so this is the, uh, the chain tensioner um, which can rotate here as well. Um, We'll install it right here, um, but again, we'll do it finger tight. We're not going crazy. So no tools are necessary really to get the chain tensioner in. Just hand tight, just use your fingers to screw it in uh, all the way to the block. Um, and then the rod that sits, you know, the actual tensioner rod. Um, watch the chain as you will hand tight or 0.6 nanometers and you know when you see your chain on a camshaft is tight get those bolts to 20 nanometers and 100 degrees 